Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Barashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle of Great Millstone. And honors and salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in the truth and sincerity without wavering. Uh, this is a uh, quick impromptu uh, through the spirit of Yahweh, Barashim Yahweh Shai, Barashim Rakat Kodash. All right, the Holy Spirit. Um, you can call this one hot off the press. Okay, this is from the Associated Press. And as you see, uh, the, the article, it says, Trump threatens social media after Twitter fact checks him. And the reason why the Spirit got on me to do this too, because we've been telling you that these things are soon going to come to an end. Every Like the everyday life, you know, people sit there and, you know, even go on Twitter uh, Facebook, hell, YouTube, you know what I'm saying, um, Instagram, Twitch, and whatever other media outlets, you gotta know that those, they're gonna be regulated, and eventually, they're gonna be, well, they're being regulated now, already, that part's there, yeah, that's why they had, had that, uh, thing, those laws for the, um, net neutra neutrality, and that's why, uh, YouTube is cracking down on videos that are not violent at all, all right, our videos are not violent. We just speak the truth. We, we're prophesying. We're speaking what the Holy Bible says, you see. But because Esau is a devil, all right, and, and he doesn't like the truth, you know, like the Apostle Paul said, have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? That's all we out here is speaking the truth about what the Lord showed us, that the Lord is coming back. And these are just more signs that the Lord is coming back. Because when you see these things happening, you know that all hell is... Is getting ready to break break loose, man. <clears throat> now you got the um situation in Minnesota, which Lord willing, Spirit allow, some point or another after work or something, if Lord allow, I'm a, I want to do uh some on that, but I'll, I'll say a few things pertaining to that situation. That that whole thing is off, man. All right, and again, we're in the, living in a time where you don't know what's a real uh. A real riot that breaks out from being staged. Most times, all of these uh, events are staged. And what's one of the main reasons how they rally people and get people to do things is through Twitter, Facebook, the social media. You see, and not and at the same time, you know, which you know, there's a so-called presidential election coming up, and a lot of people are influenced through the social media. See, this thing with the with the coronavirus and the uh, Operation Lockdown, Operation Take Over the Whole Earth and everything. This was a, a well-crafted plan to now where the elites, the international banking families, have the government, all right, regulating everything. And they're doing it systematically. They, they you know, cause and effect. You know what I'm saying? Pressure from above, pressure from beneath. They, they create these events. I mean, they killed the Jake, but you can clearly see that the, the cop was... Uh, guilty and that was a thing done out of hate and again that's another thing we've been telling you so-called negroes man the so-called white man is not your friend he's not your friend he's a, the devil that the bible speaks of and and they they don't see you as the equal they th really they in their pride they think that they're better than you so-called negroes and latinos that's why they persecute you as such and set up a system that's designed to destroy you and there's nothing that you can do about it and we try to tell you, show you the only way that's out is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But y'all don't want to hear the truth. You rather curse us out and, and you know call us names. But here it is, Esau is the one that's putting the, the hell on you. You see, but now Trump, because they fact checked him, he's threatening to, co to close up, uh, close down the social media. All right, and whether he does it or not, you know. Hold on, let me just make sure this recording. Okay. All right. Now it says uh, President Donald Trump on Wednesday threatened social media companies, which this is Wednesday. Uh, when today is the was it the thirtieth? No, twenty seventh. The hell am I talking about? Wednesday, May twenty seventh. It says Wednesday threatened social media companies with new regulations or even shuttering. After Twitter moved a day earlier 
to add fact checks to two of his tweets. And that's why they're allowing things to get so crazy and so out of order to where now everything is done through social media. All right? Everything is done through social media. You know, and again, like I said, different riots, different... um. And that's why in, in certain countries such as China and other uh, countries, the government controls controls their uh, the government controls their their social media, controls their internet service because you know they know that you know that you know everybody see around the world people know that the so called white man is a devil. It's only here in America where people don't know because it's such a mixing pot. You know, everything is so mixed mixed up. And this is Babylon, the uh, city of great confusion, as the scriptures. When you read in the Bible, when it speaks about Babylon, Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon, that's speaking about here in America. So now you got a lot of people here that are confused. And, and the, the other confusion to it, which this is all going to display and show without a shadow of a, of a doubt, the power of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. His, his power is going to be felt, all right? His presence is being felt now <clears throat> through, his, uh, through his holy prophets. As you see out there on the highways and the byways, the true men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord are out there that been out there doing the work. They're not just some, because you got a lot of Israelites that are ambulance chasers, man. You know? You know what an ambulance chaser is. Like a, a lawyer, you know, that here it is if you, you stump your toe at Walmart and the guy pop up and... and so thirsty that oh you, 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 you stumped your toe oh well, they should have had that pavement leveled out come on come to my office we gotta we get we could probably get you you know three thousand dollars you know how they make forty thousand or whatever you know what I mean you got ambulance chasing Israelites that they only prophesy when convenient when it, when the heat is on when things are you know where it's the obvious it's obvious that things have changed at this point man you know so you will have certain guys that are dust off their garments and, and and then put them on and, and you know you ain't see them do videos or or you might have just seen them doing regular you know sit down videos not speaking about no prophecy just talk really not speaking about the scriptures the same as these pork chop pastors in, in these churches doing the same thing right or hiding out but then all of a sudden when some stuff come on they want to get ahead of the, the story to control the narrative you know as Judas goes to do so they can make sure that they sway the simple-minded, it's all about the simple-minded Israelites, you know, the ones that are not in the scriptures. Now, because if you got brothers and sisters that's in these other Israelite groups, if they follow Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, sincerely and truly, they're going to follow what the scriptures say and not what these blowhards say, all right? They're going to understand about the mark of the beast, and they're going to continue, even though that they, as much as these guys try to make light of the mark of the beast and, and call you an idiot or a nut, Obviously, for them to fight so hard against it and not want to keep it real, whereas you have some of them, I guess now they, they, they actually see it, right? You know, you have some of them that tell the apostle to hard that you was right about the mark of the beast. You know, you see them on certain sites agreeing with, bro, watching shows on it, trying to get edified, because they can't get edified from their, the dudes that they've been following. So, you know, the, the thing is, is that the Lord is going to bring everything out in the wash, as the old saying goes, right? And, you know... The men of the Lord been out there, even when it wasn't cool to be an Israelite, even when it was, you know, all type of ridicule. I'm talking about the real men, all right, which, you know, starting with the head apostle, elder, elder apostles of GMS on down. And there's other brothers that was out there, you know, some brothers we probably might not know or whatever, but the Lord know them. But if you've been out there sincerely doing the work of the Lord, prophesying as the Lord set us up to, then of course, and if you continue, yeah, you're the men of the Lord. You know, GMS was just a name that the Most High had put on us. We didn't call ourselves that name. You got to remember that. We didn't set ourselves up to be, you know, the Lord set that up. And that's a spiritual name as Apostle Gabal went into on, on his various shows. All right. That name was given to us by the spirit, the brothers that was watching the videos that were truly moved. All right. That are still moved. That are still. So you see the work of the, the apostles and the elders. Our work is still out there because it's not our work. It's, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that was working through us that moved through other brothers and other men that set up other brothers and set up other men and kept this thing going. So now the truth is out there. The truth is throughout the four corners of the earth. So it don't matter to us about the internet being shut down. But a lot of people, their lives, existence, and some Israelites, because a lot of Israelites are just in it for the looks. You know, they want to sit there and have that clean image. 
a lot of Israelites monetize their videos that they teach and, and you know when you're not supposed to be uh, making merchandise off of the people freely as you freely as you have received freely give as it is written all right but now Trump because they and Trump always but he doesn't give a damn he'll put his foot in his mouth and still keep it pushing as if he didn't because at the end of the day he knows where he's at he's at, he's at the top of the ladder in this thing right he knows that he's dealing with the elites they they give him the orders and he know that this thing is is about to come crashing anyway okay trump is is, is a, what a businessman okay and a lot of people woke up to the fact that they opened back up the, the state because of not that they care about people but because of business purposes the economy's struggling so so bad all right a lot of people woke up to that fact right but and as i believe that they did it as a trial and error thing to see how people respond and, and they act. And I knew that they were going to start shutting shit right back down. Hell, they put a release date on the coronavirus. Every day you keep hearing about uh, the tip. It's just the tip of the iceberg. We're just at the beginning of this outbreak. It's still, you hear these different articles and reports coming from all these so-called scientists, specialists, you know, which shows you that this thing is a pandemic, of course, which you got some people that are emotional because they know people that's quote-unquote so-called affected from it. That don't mean nothing. Ebola, people died from Ebola. People died from HIV. But was it created? Was it man-made? You got damn right. Do some research. All right? Just the same thing as this coronavirus. But what they, they're doing is systematically. Systematic. All right? They, they, they stage, they're they going to stage more situations. There is racial tensions. All right? There are racial tensions. And, and, the, and the thing is, like I was saying earlier, which is going to show... And I'm going to hit the scriptures because I know right now I'm doing a little too much talking, but I'm going to just make this quick point, you know, which I am speaking scripturally. And the Mosai said he was going to work a work amongst you that you will know, in no wise believe. Now, through the midst of all this, because people, you know, you got, you got, this thing affects people on a lot of levels because you got, the whole world sees things like Eric Garner, so forth and so on. Um, what's this new new guy's name? Uh, what's his name? In Minnesota, the one where the cop put his knee, the knee on his head. I can't think of the, the brother's name right now. But the whole world sees the plight and the plan. I'm talking about all the nations. And there's people like like a lot of so called immigrants, such as the Italians, Irish, uh, the Albanians, or so forth and so on who see these things and they're affected and they feel because they know that eventually it's going to come on them because that's what happened in slavery. They was getting hung, lynched, and, and hunt, hunted down too. But they don't know where they fit into this thing because they got that pale skin, that Edomite skin. They don't realize that it goes deeper than what their skin is. It go back to your origin of your ancestry, all right? If your ancestries go back to Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which meaning if your great-great-great-grandfather was a so-called Negro, because that that was over there in Ireland or Europe or throughout the world, then you're still an Israelite, even though you got the curse of looking. That's just your curse you got here. But now the Lord is going because the scriptures say the Lord is going to gather the wheat from amongst the tears, because you got so-called Negroes or black-looking people that are really not Israelites. They they are uh, babies, straight up going back to the slave master. They line goes straight back to the actual devil. But then you got the Israelites. That look like the devil. So the most high is going to be magnified because through all this chaos, the Lord is going to shield those that are of his elect. And that's why you see certain guys, a lot of times, like I said, they, the other so-called immigrants, they, they'll be at the rallies or whatever, trying to support in whatever capacity they can support Jake. You know, you have some uh, prosecutors and attorneys that see it and they're sincerely moved because why? It's spiritual. Because really they know that they're not Edomites. And plus two, I mean, come on, come on, you be a fool, you know, unless you got that, that real Edomite pride, then you're going to, you know, continue to persecute Jake without no conscience. All right. So th this thing is what's going on. Matter of fact, let me just go to the scripture because again, too, you know, through the spirit, if, if I don't finish the article, I mean, it's a little bit of things in that article. You can always go online. I'm sure it's going to be all over the place, but um, I just want to get, get some scriptures out too. Because uh, at the end of the day, it all goes back to the scriptures, the holy scriptures of the, the Bible, not the Quran, not the Egyptian book of the dead. There's no different. Oh, he got the truth. You got nah. There's only one truth. It's one faith, one power, one creator. 
All right, there's only one one way. There's only one right way to do this thing that the Lord set up. All right, and and if you of the elect, you're gonna accept it. If you're not, you're gonna sit there and scoff, talk shit or whatever. And that's your lot at the end of the day. That's your lot. That's your lot. We we're not concerned with non-believers. We're not trying to convert nobody. All right, the truth speaks for itself. And if you got a problem with the way is then that's that's your fault. You got to take that up with the creator. Because at the end of the day, you ain't going to be able to circumvent or come in another way. That's not going to happen. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Now, that's what the Lord told the prophet Ezra, right? And that's what we're supposed to be doing. We are time watchers. We are the, we're the real true news reporters, man. You see? We're reporting on the situations that are going on in we're bringing, we're showing you how it is goes back to the prophecy, and that's how we know. Because people always wonder, well, how you know what is going to happen? How you know, right, motherfucker? Open your eyes. What do you think is about to happen? How do you think things are going to turn back to normal? You got to really be high on the the potentest heroin, crystal meth mixed with crack if you think that America is going to go back to normal, back to you know you being able to hang out. Side, do whatever the hell you want to do. Go to this club, not have to wear no mask, you know. Uh, sitting there, just go get a regular paycheck. You, you out of your mind if you think they're not gonna keep passing legislation further, allowing them to what chip people up. You out of your goddamn mind. You're not playing with a full deck. All right, you in la la land if you think that. It says measured out of time diligently in itself, and and even more than ever is the time you gotta pay close attention. Yeah, I know the news; they put all kind of misinformation. There's a whole lot of bullshit. But if you seasoned in the spirit, man, you know how to sift through the nonsense, man. All right, which the, the sifter is the word. You could use the word if it don't if it don't coincide with what's written in the scriptures, then you know that it's false. All right, you throw it away. But now we're showing you that. Because the scriptures speak about the tumult of the people. All right? And that's what you're seeing. We've been telling you that there are going to be race riots. There are going to be class riots. All right? There's going to be an insurrection. There's going to be more police shootings. We told y'all that this is this ain't the end. And the protesting that Jake, our people do, which a lot of it is, most of all of it is staged. And they show you in these, these uh, it's funny, man. I'm, you know, I'll be time to time watch this. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. It, it ain't nothing super spiritual. It's a um, not Netflix, Amazon Pride show called Bosch. Bosch is about a detective. It's a series, but in in this, in this in one of the things that got them harassing Jake, and um, I was just you know I was checking out an episode the other day, and I said, wow, it's funny how this shit mirrors what's going on today. You know, it shows you the corruptness of the the inner working of the police, the commissioner. It's, it's based off of out in L.A. I mean, it's a decent enough watch, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's a lot, it's some bullshit in it. But they show you the Jakes that get get fucked up, and they show you that these grassroots organiz organizers, all right, which is another Judas goats. It shows you how full of shit they are, cause it's, it's and it shows you most times it's these nowadays what they use is what these loudmouth black women, these ugly, hermetic, uh, back to Africa black bitches. You know, incense burning, you know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, black soap uh, using, you know? Which ain't nothing wrong with using black soap or burning incense. But you know these chicks, man, you know, they sit there and have an incense in their mouth while they walking around and act as if they're so righteous. And they, and they don't know nothing about their culture, their history, or nothing. But they got all the mouth in the world. Well, they show you that they use them to rile people up. I mean, after what? Why? after all, they do got big mouths, right? A lot of these women, and the scriptures tell you about these these uh, loud mouth women, right? A, a foolish woman is clamorous. So there's a lot of foolish women. But what Esau does, because he gets them from, you know, and they show you this in different movies, but they get, they get them from their breeding ground, the colleges. All right, they set set up somebody from the NAACP or, or SLC or whatever group that they feel like could get to to the people that, you know, whether it's in Spelman or wherever the situation is, and they have them do this grassroots organization and they, they quietly fund it by what? Esau, these senators and everything so they could use them to control them. When they want them to make noise, they make noise. So they show you some of that stuff in there and about how the cops, um, how the, it's an agent provocateur starts 
in the crowd throws a, 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 a firebomb into the police car and then they start with the riot gear. And then, boom, turn on the news. You see the same thing happening in, uh, in uh, what you call it, Minnesota. And we've been telling you, we've been prophesying that these things are going to happen. So that's what it means. This is measured out of time. You can't just, a lot of people just say, oh, wow, it's just bad. It's that. No, motherfucker, it's prophecy, man. And and hold on. I'm going to get, uh, I'll pull another scripture real quick. I'm going to come right back to that. Daniel's chapter 12, 12, uh, Verse one, it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Michael meaning Michael the archangel, the great prince, right? Because he's going to come what? With the Lord. The Lord, it tells you in uh, Revelations, the 19th chapter, that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, all right? And get used to that name, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, because that's the, the names that are going to be declared the victors, all right? Yahweh Shai is going to get the victory in the name of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we're gonna get the victory in those names as well. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, it says he's coming back with the holy angels. Michael's one of the top holy angels, and they're gonna stand up. So again, this is how we're gonna be protected. And this thing, you gotta have faith. If you ain't got faith, then you're gonna die anyway. You're gonna be trodden down. The street, the scriptures tell you there's gonna be a lot of dead people. Majority of our, a lot of our people ain't gonna make it out of here, although. The most high is going to turn the tables because overall this is our time. Like the, even though it's going to be a lot of casualties and, and that's how kingdoms are established a lot of times. So here it is the most righteous, the the, the, on, the only righteous kingdom ever that's going is about to be established underneath Yahweh Shai. So therefore there is a great price that's going to be paid. It's going to be a, a great uh, loss of life, if you will. All right. It tells you in the book of Zechariah that two thirds of our people are going to be cut off and they're going to die here in America because they're not going to wake up. You see, and a lot of them done sold out already. So, you know, they they they, uh, they made their bet. And that's why a lot of these people, you know, even though they hear what we're saying, they've been hearing us for the longest, but they realize that they made their bet. They chose uh, riches. They wanted to be, they wanted the limelight. They wanted the likes. They wanted to, they wanted to be loved. They wanted, to, you know, a lot of these people have all these, now they put promoting, promoting, um, Promoting uh, 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 demonism, if you will, or being okay to be possessed by demons, you know, mental awareness, this and that. Man, that's motherfuckers got spirits on them, man. You know what I'm saying? The most I made men whole, man. But what, what happens is Esau through his, you know, if you want to really deal with uh, uh, mental health and, and, and the culprit of it, it goes back to the devil, the so-called white man, man. All right? With this Babylon juice, man. All these different medications and the philosophies and all the, the weirdness of seeing a uh you know here it is you might have had an aunt and then she done turn into your uncle you know what i'm saying <laughs> all, all rugged with some a damn lumberjack on some tims then pack of newports in a you know in a, in a, in a uh, shirt rolled up in her sleeve you understand after that you, as a child you grow up you see some shit like that man that shit going Fuck with you, especially you ain't got nobody there. You ain't got the man there to break down and tell you that, nah, that shit's wrong, man. That bitch is bugging, man. You know? That's not the most side. It's not with that. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, a lot of people are going to be messed up in the spirit, man. But nonetheless, it says, and this shall be a time of trouble. See? That's why I said measured out of time diligently. This shall be a time of trouble. And, you know, you still got people that still don't realize that we're, we're in a time of trouble. All right, the spirit, we've been telling you that the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. And now it's to the point where we got to say it's, it's a pretty, pretty much upon us. All right, upon Jake. All right. Now, the Lord said he's going to preserve us. He's going to protect us. And again, this is the help. All right. This is the only way out of this thing. But majority of, you know, Jake don't want really want the truth, man. Jake want to do what they want to do. They want to do whatever floats their boat, whatever is comfortable to them. Because they don't really believe in the most high. And it's going to be proven. It says it should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. The only people that are going to be delivered is our people. But it goes into not all of our people, in a, a remnant, an elect. That's why the scriptures say give diligence to make thine calling and election sure. So that's why earlier I said the true men of the Lord 
or all, once they got the call, they was always out there on guard through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They didn't falter. They didn't bend to the side, go left or right. A lot of guys can't say that, man. And and hey, you gonna have certain guys. You got the prodigal son, right? But the Most High said only acknowledge down the fences. A lot of these guys that you see that you know claiming all this big deep elders going back into the ancient world. You know, I was back. I was the first one at One West back in. 93 AD and all this and that. First of all, then what the fuck happened to you? How come nobody ain't see you to just now a few years ago? How come it look like you just grabbed up a bag and bounced? You see? So it's going to, it's going to, the most side going to bring every, blow everything open and you're going to see whether what we were saying was true or not. All right. You're going to see what we were saying was true, uh, rather, whether you like it or not. One way or the other, the, the day is about to declare it. And it's gonna to be too late for a lot of a lot of our people because why they weren't allowed it to be delivered anyway, and they all they did was fight against the truth. It said, and at that time, our people shall be del delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, the elect, right? Which overall, and it tells you Romans eleven and twenty six, all Israel shall be saved. So even the two thirds that die here that are gonna be murdered, massacred, which is really a, a good thing. It's a mercy kill, you know that we always say. They're going to come back in the kingdom of heaven and they're going to regret and be ashamed of their life here. They're going to be ashamed that they trusted in the so-called white man. Even the, believe it or not, the black woman with old funky ass, she's going to actually be ashamed. She's going to actually, you know, learn to shut her mouth. She's going to be clothed with humility. You know, you understand? She's going to be ashamed that she rebelled because every, everything was done according to prophecy. It had to happen anyway. These bitches had to go way out of order, way left. Be, our, be the number one enemy to us because that's your worst enemy really more than the devil more than the so-called white man as well as two-thirds of our own people these niggas wicked ass demonic niggas they're going to all be ashamed and the scriptures tell you that you see but nonetheless they're israelites so they're going to be good in the kingdom of heaven now they're going to understand that they're israelites you ain't going to worry about you know your woman telling you to bring her a red lobster you know i want seafood salad you ain't got to worry about that in the kingdom of heaven now it said all thy people shall be righteous you see? And you, and you ain't gonna worry about her sitting up there trying to look at your equal or worry about how many wives you got. If anything, she's gonna be going out there getting you more wives or whatever. Total righteousness is gonna be back in order. And these are the times that are transitioning. So before we get to that, of course, it's gonna be a great a great uh, uh, tribulation, a great sacrifice that's gonna happen where a lot of our people are gonna be casualties. It's a thing called casualties of war. This is a holy spiritual war that the Lord set up between the devil and his son Yahweh Shai. So there's going to be a lot of casualties because uh, the Lord is defending our people. But a lot of our people are his enemies right now. Okay? So they got to be put to death so they can come back and be reborn again. They're going to actually have to be reborn again physically. Not just spiritually, but physically as well. See, now's the time to be born again spiritually if the Lord's dealing with you and you humble yourself, right? And be baptized by the truth. Meaning changing your mind or renewing of your mind the whole nine yards, then yeah, come. The Lord is going to, you know, sup with you, like it says in Revelations, uh, third chapter, I think, uh, 18, 19. All right, it says, uh, and at that time, should our people be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, meaning the brothers that come into the truth, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. I mean, and then at one point, it tells you too in the scriptures, we're all going to feel like shit because we're going to see the Lord as he was actually on the cross. It tells you that in Zechariah that when we're in the kingdom, the, the Lord is going to uh, config, trans, configure itself, I'm saying it the right way, transform his body into what he looked like when he was on that cross. And we're going to, man, it says it's going to be a, a day of mourning. We're going to mourn all, everybody in Israel. When we see, see 2,000 years now into the time we, we at now, a lot of people don't really realize the intensity and how horrible they dealt with Yahweh Shai, the Lord, when he was on the earth, when they crucified him. So he's going to show us that because, see, a lot of people still don't even think the Lord existed. They're like, well, is this guy even real that you talk about? I can't, you know, then you got the, a lot of these dudes that's in the Islam or into their own, I can't see bowing down to no no man on earth and no middle man. Okay, well, you're going to see what time it is. The Lord is going to, one, he's going to break, get rid of them niggas. But when they come back, they're going to see what the Lord really did. They don't understand 
what the Lord did for us, the reason why we're even existing today. They have no clue or idea what, why we're still even allowed to have a, a right to come back to the Most High, a right to be in His truth, a right to not be destroyed overall. All right? Because if the Most High wanted, He could leave us, you know, you know, He could let the, the so called white man, they want to uh, wipe us out, right? But the Most High said, nah. He said, for my holy name's sake, He's going to come back and, and bust their ass, man. And He said, He's going to yet have mercy on us. But that's all because that Yahweh Shai gave His life up for us. If that didn't happen, We'd have been fucked, fucked. But um, man, Lord willing, I'm gonna see if I can do a part two to this, man. You know, cause man, man, I hate this fucking place, man. But I, I am <laughs> late, late for uh, fucking uh, work. But um, man, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it right there, though. I'm gonna end it right there. I mean, Lord willing, I, if the spirit allow me, I'll do a part two. I'll say it like that because you know. There's so many things happening. I mean, you brothers, I mean, I'm not saying nothing that you brothers don't know already. And, you know, and a few sisters out there that, that watch, you know, I mean, uh, pretty much, you know, you can read the article on um, the AP, AP, Associated Press. It might be in other places. Trump is speaking about, about uh, because since they, you know, they've been fact-checking them or whatever, and, you know, they, they're trying to make it to where the voting and everything is basically through an email. They, they, Everything, like as we know, life done changed, and this is things are becoming a new norm. You know, you ain't gonna be running down to no school because you gotta observe the social distances and it's involved in everything, right? So, you know, they they saying, okay, well, we are gonna vote for these. They still talking about voting and all that, but what Trump is showing, and people don't realize this, because in the article they say, well, he really can't do it. Says who? He's the puppet that's in charge. All right, and we used to speak about this. Years ago, we said, don't be surprised if Trump uh, suspends the election. And they're riding this coronavirus thing off into the sunset, man. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be interesting to see how these thing, things unfold in the upcoming months. But um, anyway, though, with, with that, I'm going to end it right there. Like I said, the Lord allowed. I'll come back, pick back up on, on this one. If the Spirit allowed. But, um, you know, hopefully you brothers got edified and all, always... All glory and honor goes to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. And I said, Shalom to you, Sasir Akim. Shalom.